I'm a big fan of performing. I don't want to say euphoric because that sounds stupid, but it's a little bit euphoric. My name is Aaron Corbett. I'm a uh, freelance audio engineer. I'm from Kenora, Ontario. And so when I moved to Toronto, that entire network of existing, you know, relationships I had with my friends and musicians just totally disappeared. I'd much rather play with someone uh, I'm really close with and have that kind of personal connection with than someone who's like, you know, the best guitar player in the world. My friends and family are very supportive of what I do. My family especially, which is great because I need their help. I need their financial help and their moral help. And they give me both and I love them for it. Growing up as a musician in Kenora, there weren't a lot of musicians. But because of that, we all kind of just created this very small but very passionate music scene. My first performing experiences were with my very close friends, playing for my very close friends. And that kind of evolved into a love of the production side of it. So in my production studio here, we have uh, this keyboard. This is my main jam. Just got a guitar here, a Gibson SG, which I use to play guitar with. Aside from that, this is a little uh, cassette recorder I have. Cassettes are hard to come by, so I record onto um, someone's bootleg copy of Hole Pretty on the Inside that I found on the street. A glockenspiel and, and a ukulele if I want to do like a cutesy indie folk sort of song for like, you know, an iPad commercial. And so it can be difficult to get people to come out to a show and it was difficult in Kenora, but for a different reason, because nobody really was interested in the local scene there. It's difficult in Toronto because everybody's in the local scene here. Point is, I ended up playing this song for the very first time. It was kind of this like emotional, personal, like almost spoken wordy sort of thing that I wasn't even planning on playing, but like given the kind of spiritual vibe of the place, I thought that like it'd be a good audience to play it for for the first time. And like, it was interesting because there was like really like emotional lines that I had written. Like people were like sympathetically laughing at them. Like not at them, but like there, there was more humor in it than I had originally realized, I guess. And that's what I love about performing and performing for different audiences and seeing like who loves what and who loves what aspects of your songs and why they love it. And, it, and you get this idea of what works for you and what doesn't. 